Now, we've talked about it, and I've seen you talk about it in other interviews with your, your jewelry collection, your mm -hmm. personal jewelry collection. You got different sets. Yeah. You spend over a million on jewelry. It's a pretty serious thing for you, right? Yeah, I'm just, I mean, you know. It's one, it, one of your it, things. Yeah, yeah, I'm addicted to it. I'm not going to lie. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm addicted to the finer things. I want nice things. Like, I ne didn't have it growing up. And I think when it's, I think it's safe to say when people think of the filthy rich name or the filthy rich brand, yeah. they're going to think of the cars, the jewelry. Yeah. I mean, those are one of the top things yeah. you'll think about. Yeah, you know? the finer things. Right. That's what, I, that's what, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. Now, there was a, a pretty big story, Fashion Week in Paris, a week or two ago, where Kim Kardashian got robbed at gunpoint for $10 million in her jewelry. You being into jewelry and, and that, that nature of it, what are your thoughts when you hear a story like that? Uh, I mean, how did they rob her? Where, 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 where was she at? Well, some of the details of the robbery, okay? Um, her bodyguard wasn't present in the room. She was, the bodyguard was with another Kardashian at the time. She stayed at a hotel that was known for just private celebrities. So, you know, privacy for celebrities, mm -hmm. like a boutique type of hotel. Um, five men posed as police, came in, um, distracted the, uh, the clerk at the front. I would have hit it. <laughs> <laughs> distracted the clerk at the front, got to a room. I would have robbed her and I would have hit it. I don't need to hit that. I would have been that over for sure. Well, she, you know, that's, uh, you know, at first when people saw the news story. That, that thing big from the back. I that's what been, listen, people were wondering. I would have bent that thing over. Five men while they was robbing. Check it out. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they, me, got, they got away with the jewelry, right? They got away with they the jewelry. They got away with everything. Shit, you might as well go ahead. Her kids were not in the room. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, wasn't Kanye just like in debt like 50 million or something? I mean, it could be, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but shit, hopefully they got insurance on, you know, whatever got, uh, got stolen. Or whatever, but do do those details? Does that sound like a setup? Um, you said her kids wasn't there. She was the in. bodyguard wasn't there. Her kids weren't there. Where was the bodyguard at? Oh, uh, with another Kardashian. And nobody, no other Kardashian got robbed. Just her. Mm -hmm. Just her. And this happened at pa uh, uh, in Paris, which is a huge city in Europe. And nobody else got robbed. Like coming in, the, coming down in the elevator or outside in the lobby. It's a very everybody. private hotel. And mm -hmm. this is at Fashion Week. This is like the Super Bowl for Paris. And they knew she was going to be there? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't want to sound like, you know, but anything's possible. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, I seen another interview where you talked about jewelry insurance uh -huh. and insuring jewelry. And at the time, you said you hadn't insured your jewelry. Uh -huh. Did that, has that been changed? Have you insured your jewelry or? Uh-uh. <laughs> still not. I ain't had time no, to go do it yet. Still no time. Nah. I mean, I had my jewelry insured a long time ago, but um, my house had got broken into and I had stole some shit. That's what had me do it. But then, like, that whole process, like, for me to get it back was, like, serious. Like, Did they I, cut you a check for what it was appraised they, for? They just, they didn't give me the money. They just um, got it made over. That's how they did it. Like they they made everything over to make sure that the money was spent on what it needed to be spent on, but um, so is it worth it? Is jewelry insurance worth it? I mean, yes, yeah, it's worth it. You know, if you lose it or get robbed or whatever, they're gonna replace it. You know, and you, you just pay that every month. But it was like a process to get it back. Like, I mean, how long did it take? It was kind. Of, it wasn't really the time because they wanted to talk to me. And I wasn't trying to talk to him. And when the, when the man called, it sounded like the police on the phone. And I'm like, man, like, I don't even want to talk to you. Like, he wanted to meet up and how much I paid for this and this and where I got this from and this, this, and this. And, you know, it wasn't like I just had bought the jury. So I didn't had it over time. So I might, might have, don't remember, you know, some, some stuff or whatever. But, you know, I, I did it. I hollered at him. He wasn't the police or nothing. And I ended up getting it, you know, getting it remade over. I mean, with insurance in general, jewelry or not. Yeah, I mean, insurance cars company, also. You know, you need to have your cars insured. I got, like, my rims insured and everything. Like, if um, somebody steal my car, and take the rims. Even homeowner's insurance. Yeah. You know, uh, the insurance company always suggests that from time to time, 
you take a recording, you take a video camera, and you record every all your stuff because when stuff happens, mm. a robbery, whatever, whatever, it's easy to forget where did I get this TV from? Mm. Where did I get all these designer clothes from? Mm. Do you know like um, sometimes a uh, it depends, right? If you pay in cash, it's different. If you use a card, it's different. Like if you go to the Louis Vuitton store and you buy a whole bunch of stuff and you use a card, mm. they actually keep your your information and your receipts on file. Mm. So if you do become a situation where you get robbed for your stuff, you can present the insurance company with, hey, this is how much I paid yeah, for all this. they do that at, like all the designer stores, they keep you in the file. Right. Yeah. But it's, you know, they do suggest that. Um, mm. But I can see where you're coming from. It is hard to remember what jeweler you got this from and do you have yeah, the like paperwork especially for the like, jewelry and yeah, they, yeah, appraisal. How, how much it was worth and how much you paid and it's just like, you would really have to be like a jeweler. They, I mean, they go to the jeweler too, though, and talk to them or whatever. And they, you know, say that they made it or whatever and go from there. They do all that. Plans to get jewelry insurance or no? Yeah, I am. I was, I don't know, I've just been ripping and running. You know, I've been busy working. Um, my new tape coming out. Uh, I'm out You've been dropping a lot of mixtapes, man. I yeah, think I mean, a different month is a different mixtape for you, right? That's what I was doing. I was dropping one every month for the rest of the year. 